It's been 38 months since the people of Ohio gave me the opportunity to serve as the governor of this great state. Today, I stand before you to let you know something that you have probably expected to hear. <laughs> I am running for re-election to be the seen in our lifetimes. Ohioans well know that this recession didn't start on High Street in Columbus or on Market Street in Akron or on Vine Street in Cincinnati. It started on Wall Street. This global recession has hurt so many people, but we in Ohio were fighting back. We're fighting back and we have a plan to grow Ohio's economy. We are investing in a reformed and a constitutional system of education so that our students are prepared for the jobs of today and the jobs of the future. like Indiana are slashing school funding. Just days ago, Education Week highlighted the progress that we have made in Ohio as they ranked Ohio schools fifth in the nation. become centers of innovation and job creation. And this young student here is happy about it. <laughs> and while California just raised tuition at its universities by 32 percent, we are the only state in America to have frozen tuition for two years and we are holding the line on college tuition to make it easier for our young people to obtain a higher education. climate is the best in the Midwest and our taxes are the lowest. We are investing in growing sectors of our economy like alternative energy, industries that are creating jobs today and will lead our long-term economic recovery. And we have passed one of the nation's first state stimulus bills to rebuild our infrastructure. We've worked to protect are people who are suffering. And many of our people are suffering, and we acknowledge that today. We've made it easier for the unemployed to go back to school. We fought to expand health care access for children and adults. And we made good on a promise to provide tax relief for Ohio's citizens, senior citizens. You know, to make all of these historic investments, we force state government to live within its means. We've eliminated waste and reduced the size of state government to the smallest it's been since the Reagan era. Now, there are some, there are some, who would have you believe that the path to prosperity 
is for government to be on the side of the privileged and the powerful and hope that jobs and wealth trickle down to Ohio's working people. I believe that investing in the people who work for a living is the surest path to rebuilding our economy from the ground up. stay down. We're getting back up, dusting ourselves off, and we will keep fighting for the promise of Ohio. An Ohio where working men and women have opportunity through education and job training. An Ohio where industries like advanced energy and healthcare are creating jobs that are hard to outsource. An Ohio where our young people can compete with anyone and achieve anything and where there, are, there is a job competing for them when they finish school. An Ohio that is restored and renewed. Now, I could not be more proud than to announce today that my partner in this fight for Ohio's future is Yvette McGee Brown. found here in Ohio and by the even greater service that she chose to give back to this state and its people. Many of you know that I grew up on Duck Run in Scioto County. <laughs> Yvette grew up in the city. But both of us came from modest means whose families sacrificed to give us something that we could only dream was possible as children. Both of us were blessed with educational opportunities that have shaped our lives. Educated at Ohio University and The Ohio State University College of Law, Yvette has dedicated her life to children and families. She presided over the Franklin County Domestic Relations and Juvenile Court for nearly a decade. Since 2002, Yvette has led the Center for Child and Family Advocacy at Nationwide Children's Hospital. As the founding president of the Center, Yvette has been responsible for leading a first-of-its-kind program to provide comprehensive prevention and treatment services for abused children and their families. Throughout her life, Yvette has answered the call of public service, and I am grateful that she has done so once again.